just on a road trip here with my good friend Sam. We're on our way down to a top secret filming location in darkest, deepest countryside. We're both going to try something that neither of us have tried before. So fingers crossed. Mind the goose goo. You can't mind the goose goo, it's everywhere, it's a minefield. Why have I always got the heavy side? Lift it, will you? <laughs> well, here we are in the gentle rolling hills of Worcestershire and Warwickshire, Middle England, and some may call it Middle Earth in a field littered with goose goo and this, a lopsided cabin that is sinking like a ship on one side because it was constructed by... <laughs> Stop looking about! <laughs> but that's okay, because Sam and I are installing some doors today and you might be asking, what does a roofer and a filmmaker know about installing bifold doors? Zero. But that's not going to stop us, so let's see how we get on. Got the installation guide. No idea what I'm doing. What is that? Oh, the magnets from there. Let's just go for it. Oh. Are we good? I don't know. Well, this might be the last you see of me, so make the most of it. These cabins were only ever meant to be temporary, made for our Hollywood blockbuster productions. They're gone a little bit twisted, a little bit on the wonk from the high winds and all the storms. But we're just going to make a few adjustments because we want our opening to be right on the button and tickety-boo. So bear with. Oh, I think I need something much heavier. Let's see. Ah, <laughs> oh, just the man. What is he doing now? You're humping the cabin. I'm trying to get it square. Oh yeah. That's what they all say. You twat. <laughs> Nothing like a building project to bond with your best buddy, is there, Sam? <laughs> so he loves me, really. So we've got the frame in, uh, packers in, fixings uh, on the top, the bottom, and all the sides. Bearing in mind the manual says to come in 150, then 400 millimeter centers all the way along. We've adjusted it a millimeter here and a millimeter there, um, just making those adjustments so that when the doors open and close, they will move like poetry in motion. So they must have known that I was going to be fitting these with Sam because they've made the whole process foolproof. If the instructions weren't clear enough in the manual already, they've also given us some labels on the frame. Top tips such as retain the bead order, which is brilliant, make sure that I don't get things back to front and all upside down. Added to that, they've also got labels here for the towing and healing, which is really important because the glass acts as a brace and you know where you are with that then. So we're going to get on with that now. Yeah. Come on, you gotta love that.
It wasn't completely effortless, but I quite enjoyed how the beads just snapped in place with a few gentle thumps of Sam's mighty fist and the sound of the ball bearings over the tracks like they were on some kind of articulating chariot tilting and, tilting and cornering like, like Lewis Hamilton in a Mercedes and the whole door system itself moves like whipped cream over coffee. Any comments, drop them below. You were flipping laughing. That was good. That was You're laughing. I could see you laughing. Yeah, but it was funny. Go on then. Right. It's just you're just like this and I'm not. Like... <laughs> 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 All right, we'll leave it at that.